everyone, it's Sarah or Lovely Day here with another video. This morning I went to Kmart and I could not resist picking up some dolls clothes. I got an Our Generation clothing set for $19 and a Glitter Girls one for $17. Now I've tried Glitter Girls clothes before on Ava and found that they work quite well. Her hips are quite wide for an MSD so leggings and that sort of thing won't really work on her but I'm hoping that this top will and I'm quite excited about the cap. And as for the Our Generation stuff, I have used props from them before with B. In fact, I do recognize these stationery sets here. I'm pretty sure the little stationery set I got in the past had this exact calculator and ruler and pencil, but it's always cool to have extras. As for the actual outfit though, I'm not too sure how well it will fit B. I know that our generation dolls are a bit wider, so it might look a bit baggy, but there's only one way to find out. I have Ava and B here with me all ready to go. In fact, Ava is still in her Glitter Girls outfit from last time and as you can see she still has her Easter Bunny ears on as well. If you're curious how I made them be sure to check out last week's video. Bee's here too although she doesn't have bunny ears on. She's actually wearing a little hood that is meant for dogs or cats. It's a little pet costume but I saw it in Daiso and I couldn't resist picking it up for her or just for any of my dolls really because I thought it would look hilarious and it does. I was not disappointed. I think I'm going to start with the Our Generation set just because I'm really curious to see if this dress will work. Okay, so as expected, this is really baggy on B. <laughs> I wasn't kidding when I said that our generation dolls are a lot wider. You can really see it if I get her to put her arms out like this. Sorry B, it's not the most flattering look in the world. However, I'm sure it would be relatively straightforward for me to take it in at the back. If I managed to do that, all of a sudden it looks quite cute and I could probably do it with the sleeves as well. It wouldn't look too bad. So yeah, for the people who were asking me about our generation doll clothes on smart dolls and other SD size dolls, this is your answer. I'm pretty sure I said at the time, even though I hadn't tried it, that this would be the result, but it definitely helps to see it in person or on video if you have no idea. Despite this not working out as well as it could, I'm really happy with the bag. Honestly, this was the reason I got this set in the first place. It just looked so nice and I could instantly see myself using it for my other dolls too. The material it's made out of is really nice. The flap is held down by velcro, the inner side of this lid is lined and the rest of it is too but I particularly like the pattern on the material here. It just looks so neat and tidy. Even though we've already seen these accessories on my channel, I'll get them out again to show you anyway. As far as props go, these are super detailed and I really like all the little numbers on them. Definitely my least favourite thing about this set are the shoes. They're just big lumps of plastic really and they're obviously meant for our generation dolls and not smart dolls. I will attempt to put them on B but I can already tell that they are far too wide for her. Okay so lengthwise they actually weren't too far off. If you were in a pinch and you had no shoes for your doll and you really were desperate these would work but they are super wide. I'm not sure if you can see that very well on camera. They definitely work. I certainly wasn't expecting them to go on her foot as well as they do. I mean, they certainly don't fit the best, but they're not falling off, so that's something. Almost forgot about the socks. They're in this cute little packaging, which is pretty sweet. Same as with the shoes though, I am very skeptical about them, especially given the way they square off at the ends, but I'll give them a go. Okay, so my assumptions about the socks were pretty spot on, I think. You can see the square toe there and how it just doesn't work with her foot. But I will say that it makes the shoe fit better and it means that they don't look as gappy. So take from that what you will. 
The last piece for this set and the item that I'm probably the most excited about are these glasses. Now, I have no idea how well they will fit her, but I'm really hopeful since they are so cute. to get them to stay. I tried hooking them under her wig but it didn't really work. They are a little bit big, they look slightly oversized but damn they are cute! Oh my gosh she's such a sweetie. I love it and I think I might actually have to try these on my other dolls too. I have been toying with the idea of giving Millie glasses and perhaps these could be the ones for her. Her lack of a nose definitely doesn't help them stay on but they're still so cute. So that's B all done, now it is Ava's turn. This works so well! I didn't bother with these since I battled with glitter girl leggings last time and although they can fit on Ava, it's really not worth the struggle I don't think. The material is awesome, I really like the quality and the little watermelons are the sweetest thing. It certainly doesn't look like kids doll clothes if you know what I mean. In fact, if you take off the little glitter girl's label, then you really can't tell at all. Oddly enough, even though I was able to put the glitter girl shoes on her last time, these ones just don't want to go for some reason, so I'm not going to force it, she'll just be barefoot. The little bag is really really cute, it actually has reasonably long straps. I could see Ava being able to maybe have this on her back, I might try that in a minute, but it also can open so you could put stuff in here. It's really cute and it's a good size for Ava. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for this hat. Will it fit on Ava? Let's see. <laughs> oh, okay, I need to fix that. It fits her so well. It's perfect. <gasps> yes. With that though, we've reached the end of this video. I'm so stoked with how these things work out. The hat and the glasses are definitely the best. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below telling me what item you like the most. If you're not already subscribed, I'd love it if you joined me here. I upload a new video every weekend on Sundays. Thank you so much for watching. It has been lovely and I'll catch you in another video sometime soon.